this got conference you it will took, now be recorded. It took, it took me a minute, minute, minute. Okay, well, it's one o'clock. I'll uh, call this meeting to order. Uh, this is a public planning meeting. No decisions will be made today. Uh, and uh, so we might as well just get started right away. First file is uh, on the agenda 3.1, which is file C121. And uh, that is Manessa Mart Martin. Uh, location of the property is um, concession four SWTSR lots 231 to 233, geographic township of Proton. Civic address 180032 Railroad 9. Purpose uh, the proposed zoning bylaw amendment application is to allow for an agricultural related use in a small scale industrial uh, use shop. Uh, the owners wish to add a shop to the list of permitted uses for the agriculture A1 zone. The shop, including office and power room, is proposed to be 649 meters squared. Uh, with outside storage of approximately 599 meters squared. The effect of the proposed zoning bylaw amendment would be to change the zone symbol on a portion of the subject property lands to permit the industrial use shop within a new agricultural exception zone. Uh, any environmental protection zone boundaries may be adjusted um, based on conservation authority comments. Can I have confirmation that uh, uh, notice was posted, please. Yes, Mayor Woodbury, uh, notice was given in accordance with the Planning Act and the sign was posted on the property. Okay, thank you. Uh, Click if you would like to uh, review any comments you've received. Thank you, Chair Woodbury. The So the first set of comments then is from the building department indicating they have no concerns or objections with the application. The County of Gray indicate that the subject lands are on Gray Road 9 and County Transportation Services have reviewed the subject application and the entrance will be required to will be required to county standard light industrial site access. An entrance permit is required if it has not already been applied for. So provided that D6 guidelines and MDS can be met and all county transportation services requirements are met, county planning staff have no further concerns. Okay, um, the public works department indicate it's county road and therefore county jurisdiction and it's not within a wellhead protection area. The historic Soggy Métis have no objection. The Conservation Authority indicate the application is acceptable to the SVCA staff. And that's all of the agency comments that I have. Okay, thank you. Did you receive any uh, comments from citizens? None received. Okay, thank you. Um, any uh, questions or comments from Council about this? Uh, Martin here, uh, Go ahead. Chair. Hi, Clint. How are you again? Uh, you mentioned uh, th there will be a paved paved entry. I was just wondering because it's a great county road. It is it is it a more involved. Uh, paved area than what we do on our township roads? Like it, is it bigger or wider or goes goes farther onto the shoulders for the trucks? Um, <laughs> that's a tough one for me to answer only because I'm not with the County of Gray. So, but I would imagine their standard is similar to the township. It, it okay. may be a little bit larger in terms of the amount of paved area, but they are required to get an entrance permit from the county of gray and meet whatever standards the county has for gray road nine okay okay thank you yeah thanks 
Thanks. Uh, anyone else with any questions from council? Okay, not seeing any. Um, if the agent or applicant is present, if you'd like to identify yourself and if you'd like to say anything. Okay. Members of the public, uh, if there's any of the members of the public that would like to speak. Mayor Woodbury, I'm wondering if Solomon, Solomon, did you want to speak? I seen you turned your mic on. Oh, okay. I believe yeah. you're the agent. Maybe not. If you speak, Solomon, we should be able to hear you. I guess not. Yeah, we're not hearing anything, but just in case it's um, problems with the computers, if uh, if you do get want to say anything and get through a little later, we can always make time. Mayor, Chair, Mayor Woodbury? Yes? Um, I'm not sure if the applicant has joined in by phone, but sometimes when you join in, uh, you have to use star six initially to unmute, and then that mute. It, I've had that experience. I'm not saying that that's the case, but he may be having that difficulty. Okay. Um. And members of the public, well, there, I don't see any other members of the public here, so there's no one from the public has anything. Anyone from council have any further questions? Or comments? Yes, Mayor Woodbury, it's Barbara. Go ahead. Further to the questions, it being a county entrance, so they'll be looking after any issues with location. It is a busy corner and there's a shop right across the road, almost directly across from the existing driveway. Um, I mean, we don't have any control over that, correct, Clinton? County will make sure all of that is addressed. Uh, yes, uh, the, it's it's a county road, so they would require, if, if for whatever reason they didn't, permit the entrance for whatever reason, which if they didn't, they should have said so right up front here in this letter. Right. Uh, then the other option, because this is a corner property, would be to maybe go to the side road, in which case it would be township jurisdiction. And then we would look after similar types of things, uh, paving the apron and things like that. So. Yeah, okay, thank you. Okay. Any other questions or comments from council? Okay, not hearing any. Uh, Solomon, did you uh, get through or didn't hear anything? So we'll we'll carry on. Uh, so that's the uh, the file there, and we shall move on to the next one, which is 3.2 uh, file C221. And that's Con 15 Enterprise Incorporated. Just let me pull up the notice here. Okay. And that is um, located on concession two, lot 23, Geographic Township of Proton. Uh, the address 151133, Southgate Road 15. Purpose of this zoning bylaw amendment application is to allow for agricultural related use being a small scale industrial use shop. Owner, the owners wish to add the shop to the list of permitted uses for the agriculture A1 zone. The shop, including office and power room is proposed to be 750 meters squared uh, with outside storage of approximately 250 meters squared. The effect of the proposed zoning bylaw amendment would be to change the zone symbol on a portion of the subject lands to permit industrial use shop with a new agricultural exception zone. Uh, any environmental protection zone boundary may be adjusted based on conservation authority comments. Okay, uh, confirmation notice was posted, please. 
Yes, Mayor Woodbury, proper notice was given in accordance with the Planning Act and the sign was posted on the property. Okay, thank you. And uh, Clinton, if you'd like to review any comments you received. Thank you, Chair Woodbury. Um, going through the comments then, the building department uh, has no concerns or objections. However, they indicate uh, applicable permits are required before construction and a barrier free washroom will be required with a septic system. Uh, the County of Gray indicate that provided D6 guidelines can be met, County planning staff have no concerns. Moving on, the Public Works Department indicate a safe access can be provided. Uh, there's no drainage concerns. It's a rural asphalt road and a road widening is not necessary. However, for the entrance requirements, it says a commercial paved entrance or paved apron is required. The historic soggy mating have no objection. And that's all of the comments from the agencies that I have received. Thank you. Uh, anything from the public? Uh, there are no comments received. Okay, thank you. Um, any questions from council? Martin here, Mayor John. Sure, Martin. Hi again, hi again, Clint. I'm just looking at the notes here. Uh, and page, page 41, number 30, I noticed that it actually states, and maybe this is something for the fire department, I don't know, but it made me curious because it actually says in what he wrote down, the applicant, uh, he says the proposed workshop building and power room would be in close proximity to the rest of the farm buildings. Um, I don't have a picture of that right now, but uh, would there be any any ramifications because of that? Like, would, would Derek have to go out or is it that close? Would there be a fire problem? Because it's, this is the first one I've seen that actually wrote down close proximity to the to the actual barns, so. Okay. Thank you, uh, Councillor Shipton, uh, through the chair. Uh, I believe that comment is actually more directed at preserving the agricultural land around the, the use. Oh, okay. So meaning they're clustering the buildings together so that they're not spread out all over the 100 acres and, and potentially destroying more farmland than need be. It's, yeah. it's better to keep them closer together. So that's what I think that comment is referring to. Um, certainly if there's any uh, fire issues at the building uh, permit stage, uh, that gets reviewed at that stage and site and the site plan stage for that matter. Okay. This way it doesn't I, I, create a big cluster. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I just I just read it wrong. I read an implication that obviously wasn't there, so that's fine. Uh second question though, if it is a dry dry industrial um and the and the things are so tight together in a in a cluster, would this be possibly one of the ones that has that cistern? I guess that's site plan stuff though too, right? So uh, through the chair, yep. um, usually it's based on the size of the shop. So if oh, it okay. is an extremely large shop, um, they are required to have uh, some sort of uh, on-site water for firefighting uh, capabilities, I guess, fire suppression, mm -hmm. if you will. Um, so there has to be a means of, of doing that. And so at the site plan stage, we put in that requirement that if the fire department deems it necessary, they may have to install the water reservoir based on the size of the buildings and et cetera. Okay. Okay. That's good. Yeah, I just found the uh, the site, the, the plan of all the buildings. They are put together. I can see that point. Okay. I read it wrong. Thank you, Clinton. Okay. Any other questions from council? Right. Yeah, that. Yes. Oh, yes. Go ahead, Barb. Thank you, Mayor Woodbury, to Clinton. When 
when it indicates it is on a load restricted road and they're anticipating three trucks, are those light trucks? Are they affected in any way by half load seasons? Or do you even know what kind what's what what level of truck those trucks entail? Uh, through the chair. Um I don't know specifically the size of the trucks. However, I will say that if it's on a load restricted road, then that applies to everyone and, and no matter what trucks, um, the size of the truck. So if it says you, it's half load season between April and June, then that's what it is. I'm sorry, does Deputy Mayor find our questioning humorous? No, not at all. No disrespect. I just got an email on a totally unrelated matter and I was just chuckling to myself. I'm sorry. Thank you, Clinton. No problem. Okay, any other questions or comments from uh, Council? Okay, uh, if the agent are asking. Oh, sorry, go ahead. If you could refer, if you could get back to me before we move on to the next file, I just want to add a comment. Yep. Okay. Thank you. Um, agent or applicant is present. If you'd like to identify yourself and uh, say anything. Okay. Hearing no one, uh, we can go on to uh, members of the public. Is there anyone from the public that would like to speak on this file? Okay, any further questions from council? And Lindsay, you had something to add to this one? Yes, the, well, not to this one, to the first one. Um, I yep. emailed Solomon and he's just having some trouble getting through to us, so we couldn't hear him, but he did want to comment on that first application that uh, being at a county road, he does. Uh, he did apply to the county of Gray, and they have an approved entrance permit to continue. I just wanted to add that for the record. Okay, great. Thank you. Well, I'm glad you got through to to him. Um, okay. Well, that uh, that is that file. Next, we move on to uh, Pallister Farms Livestock Limited, uh, and I'll get the uh, concession 15 lot 29 West. Part lot 30, geographic township of Croton. Um, okay. Uh, and the civic address 226281 Southgate Road 22. Purpose of the zoning bylaw amendment application is to implement a condition of consent for proposed new lot by amending the zoning standards for the severed parcel to recognize reduced lot frontage. The retained lot will prohibit future residential development. The effect of the proposed zoning bylaw amendment would be to change the zoning symbol uh, on portion of the property for the severed parcel from agriculture A1 to residential type six exception. Uh, recognizing the reduced lot frontage, the retained parcel will be zoned uh, from agriculture uh, to agriculture exception to prohibit residential development. The environmental protection, protection zone boundary may be adjusted based on conservation authority comments. Can I have uh, confirmation that notice was posted? Uh, yes, Mayor Woodbury. Uh, proper notice was given in accordance with the Planning Act and the sign was posted on the property. Okay, thank you. Uh, Clint, if you'd like to review any comments you've received. Thank you, Chair Woodbury. Um, just so you know, this is not the same application as that was before the Committee of Adjustment this morning. This is from earlier, uh, the, from Fe I believe it was February month. So uh, I just want to, to be clear on that. This is uh, one that's already been approved. Uh, by the committee. So the building department indicates that they have no concerns or objections. The County of Gray indicate that they have no uh, concerns or comments. 
the Public Works Department indicate a safe access can be provided. It's a rural asphalt and a road widening is necessary. Um, the comments indicate they checked the property file and no survey to indicate road widening has been taken. I believe that was a condition of consent as well. So um, that'll be put in the survey when it gets brought forward. Um, the Saugeen Valley Conservation Authority indicate the proposed consent is access acceptable to the SVCA staff. And the historic Saugeen Métis have no concerns or objections. And that's all the comments received. Okay, thank you. Anything received from the public? Uh, nothing received, thank you. Okay, uh, if the uh, applicant uh, is present and would like to say anything, uh, identify yourself, please. I'm on the line, but I have nothing to say, Mayor Woodbury. Okay, thanks, Dale. Um, any questions from, well, I guess, Dale, you're the public. So, no, I guess there's probably no questions from the public. Um, and, uh, let's see, where were we? Anything from uh, members of council again? No? Okay, so that's pretty straightforward. And uh, we're done that file. So thanks, Dale. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye. Next up, we have uh, 3.4. That's file C4-21. Uh, that uh, concession two SWSTR part lots 198 to 200 RP 16 R940 part one geographic township of Croton. The um, and the civic address is 260145 Southgate Road 26. Purpose of the zoning bylaw amendment application is to allow for the conversion of the existing outside storage to inside storage. The existing shed will be converted to storage for the existing shop. The outside storage area will be reduced so that the total combined storage complies with the official plan requirements. Uh, the existing shop is 647 meters squared and the outside storage is 549 meters squared. The effect of the proposed zoning bylaw amendment would be to change the zone provisions on subject lands to permit an exact existing shed to be used for storage of material within the existing agricultural exception, A1293 zone. Uh, any environmental protection zone boundaries may be adjusted based on conservation authority comments. Uh, can I have confirmation that notice was posted, please? Uh, yes, Mayor Woodbury. Uh, notice was posted in accordance with the Planning Act and the sign was posted on the property. Okay, thank you. And Clint, if you'd like to go over any uh, correspondence received. Thank you, Chair Woodbury. Uh, so the first comment from the uh, building department is the development will require applicable permits before construction. Uh, since the shed is already there, one of the permits would likely be a change of use permit uh, uh, to associate it with the industrial use. Uh, and then a barrier-free washroom may uh, be required depending on what's currently there. Um, a public works department indicates safe access can be provided. It's a rural asphalt road standard. Uh, the, a road widening is not necessary, and the commercial paved apron has already been installed because it's already an existing shop. So the County of Grey indicate from a general planning nature, staff recommend including a natural buffer or hedgerow around the subject shop to limit visibility from the roadside, and there are no concerns with regard to the CP Rail Trail. Uh, county planning staff have no concerns with the proposed development. So this will have to go through a site plan amendment, I believe, in order to uh, recognize the, 
the buildings in the in the site plan and put them under site plan control and as a result then we can take care of that comment regarding the natural buffer from the county of Gray. Um, the historic Saugeen Métis, I have no concern or objection. And the SBCA, indicate the application is generally acceptable to SBCA staff. And that's all of the comments received. Okay, thank you. <laughs> and nothing from the public? Uh, none received. Okay, uh, any questions from Council? Okay, and I'll ask if the applicant's present, but there is no one present but us, so uh, we can go that. And same with members of the public. We have no members of the public present. So in case didn't nobody had enough time last time I asked council, I'll ask again. Any if one from council have any questions or comments? Okay, that is uh, that file as well. And uh, thanks everybody. We're uh, gonna adjourn at 126. See you later. <laughs>